What's up guys, it's Koi from Gentleman Within and today I'm going to be unboxing a few items as you can see here. A couple of these I've already unboxed and I've actually worn the products but I just wanted to create this video just to show you guys some of the things I've gotten over the past uh, two months or so. So let's just dive right into this video. Let's start with this. I think this was from Gary V. I'm on his email list and he does these like free giveaway things. If you don't know, Gary V is a uh, entrepreneur he was a wine guy uh, back in the day and now he's doing like he's doing it real big on social media he's all about the hustle and the grind so this was a pair of socks can't really read what it says oh it says finish strong so this is a nice thick sock for for winter time keep my feet warm next up briar briar leather it's a company based out of San Diego, California. I've already, I've gotten some products by Briar before in the past through Sprezabox. If you don't know, Sprezabox is a men's subscription service. It's really nice. It's got the Briar logo there. Handmade in California on the back. It's some really high quality leather right here. This is a black leather wallet. I have some brown ones, so this, this will definitely get some use. It's just a minimal, you know, minimalist wallet. It's got just a couple of pockets. It's all you really need for your driver's license, a couple credit cards, some cash. And I, I have one of their other products. It's a um, travel tag that you put on your briefcase to have your your, uh, your information. Okay, what's this? Uh, this is their bracelet. I have one of their bracelets already. This is version 3.0. I had I have like 2.0. Their bracelets are really high quality, just like this wallet right here. Again, I had one of their bracelets in the past, but yeah, it looks good. It's not too thick, so you can adjust the, the size. These Briar leathers, some really high quality leather here. Um, thank you, Briar, for sending this. Let's just do this one right here. Ninja socks, they sent me four pairs of their socks um, recently. One in white, black, heather gray, and a dark gray. So it's all the neutrals, you know, the only colors you really need. And what I like about Ninja socks is that it's cut really low. You're not going to see the sock when you're wearing you know, sneakers, boat shoes, loafers, and things like that. And what's cool about Ninja socks is that they have multiple sizes. So they have small, medium, and large. Most companies only offer one size. Not everyone is the same size. You know, it's never one size fits all. And so kudos to Ninja socks for offering multiple sizes. If you want a good, affordable option, Ninja socks is the way to go. It's like five bucks for a pair not bad okay next up is Cooper and Jim it's another no-show sock company and so yeah these are nice I really like the the patterns right so it's got like a dotted pattern and some neutrals this is called the Lincoln the striped pattern is called the Jin hence the name Cooper and Jin this is Columbus Circle which is probably this one right here with the anchors and Astoria, or I don't know which one's which. Yeah, these are really cool. I haven't worn them yet, but they look like they're, they're some quality stuff. Quad blend, so it's 25% rayon from bam bamboo. So uh, I've written an article about the qualities and benefits of wearing bamboo socks. It's really cool that this has some, some bamboo there. 11% cotton, 30% nylon, 32% polyester and 2% spandex. So that's more than a quad blend. That's like a quint blend. What is that? Uh, five different uh, fabrics. Yeah, Cooper and Gin, another no-show sock company worth checking out. I'll link them down below as I do with all these other products. All right, moving on. Let's do Anson Belt and Buckle. If you guys watched some of my previous videos, you know that I already did a feature with them. And so I already wore these belts. I've tested them out. I've worn them extensively, actually. I've uh, had Anson belts for well over a year now. And so you know, I can attest to the quality of the belts. They're just really nice belts. So we got the vegetable tanned belt with the antique gold buckle. This one is a stripe canvas belt with a cloth trim. And I've got the black buckle on there right now. This is a navy canvas belt for the gun metal. And a gray, this is their graphite canvas belt with a gold buckle. 
And as you guys know, with Anson belts, they're all interchangeable. So, you know, you can swap out buckles in and out. I will provide links to the article and uh, the video that I did for Anson belts down below. Next up, let's do this one, ties.com. My name is Box, James Box. <laughs> okay. So we got some more socks here. Yeah, I know, ties.com. So let's with the socks. But yeah, they, they have so much more than just ties. They got socks, accessories. They even have a blog where they write some, some really good stuff. Cool, I really like these designs and patterns here. Some unique squares here with, uh, or, or diamonds with uh, some cool colors. Nice for summer. Got some kittens on there. I like this one, the tropical palm trees and a teal orange, you know, like Miami Dolphins socks, striped socks. Cool, thank you ties.com. This is Warby Parker. I already opened these up. Well, no, I haven't opened this one. If you don't know, Warby Parker has this home try-on service where you can just order a bunch of different um, sunglasses. They'll ship you five pairs and you can just pick from their entire selection online. And so I, I've done it twice. If you follow me on Instagram, I was asking for some advice on which pairs look best for my face shape. And these are the ones I, I landed on. Nothing in there. I know where that is. All right. So this is the Eastman in Belize blue. So what I really liked about this one was how it felt, like the fit. It just feels like it was custom made for my face. And so, you know, not only does it feel good, but I think that it complements my face shape pretty well. And so I liked it so much. I actually, for the second pair that I got, it was the Beckett, and I actually returned it because it just kept slipping down my nose. You know, I have flat nose as it is, and um, sunglasses tend to fall, but this pair is actually really good. It stays on my face. The Beckett kept falling. It's the same pair. So this is the Eastman in a cognac or matte brown finish. I really like the matte finish on this one. I might like it more than this pair. Even though I, I like the blue, it's more of a unique kind of style, color, and it's still versatile. I really like this pair. What do you guys think? Yeah, Warby Parker is a company actually based out of Philadelphia. So I thought that was pretty cool. I think it was like founded by three guys. They were in college at the time. But Barbie Parker, great company. All right, next up, Jay Butler. If you follow me, you know I did a review on them a couple videos back, so you know what this is. So we got some penny loafers in a dark brown suede. It's really nice. Justin Jeffers, the founder, also runs the Fine Young Gentleman blog who's also from Philadelphia as well. But he kindly sent these over, I reviewed them. I really like them, I've been wearing them for a good month now. And they're just really high quality stuff for a nice, pretty low price point of about $200. So, can't really beat that. And it comes with a little travel bag here and a little plastic shoehorn. It's always handy. And the matching belt, the little gold trim there. So got the suede belt with the same suede nap texture. Definitely a plus to have, you know, the matching belt shoe combination. So Jay Butler, thank you.